Fedora Outlier LLC logo animation. Logo is burnt orange, reddish brown. The shape is a square with a white outer glow creating dimension. The letters FO are in the center of the square. The letters have a hand-drawn artistic appearance. Backdrop is black with light flares that appear then disappear. There is a transparent mirror image of the logo underneath. Hey, what's up, everybody? Listen, it's Vishon Jones, visionary of Fedora Outlier LLC and brand ambassador of Shot in the Dark, as well as the Debonair U. So listen, um, a few questions from a listener, a viewer, a newly subscribed YouTube subscriber, I guess you would call it. Um, and so I'm going to take my time with these questions. Darn, I should have brought the um, the actual headphones up here because those were one of the questions. So anyway, I'll go down there and get those and um, then we're going to come back. So the first thing he wanted to know was what type of ear protection do I use? And that has actually changed since the first video. So I'm going to talk about that. The second question is, how do I purchase guns if I'm completely blind? And the roadblock that they ran into is one that I've run into as well, where they will not let you have someone, one person, to fill out the paperwork, whether it's a relative or whatever. Um, and then the third question had to do with why when you go to gun ranges actually this just came up with me and a partner of mine in california uh why when you go to gun ranges they won't let you shoot well i think that's kind of an obvious one but let me break down the um prejudice as well as uh the advocacy that's needed as well as the discrimination so i'm gonna go run in my um range bag run down to my range bag i need to do a video on that one too so it's not the edc bag the edc bag video is all about my everyday carry bag but i actually do have a few uh range bags and boxes and stuff that you guys better not tell my wife about so listen we're gonna cover those topics and um talk about the headphones um in a sec so i'll be right back A Shot in the Dark by Fedora Outlier LLC, displayed in orange lettering. Company logo in bottom right corner. Several images of Vashawn Jones wearing a gray sweater, ear and eye protection, pointing a firearm at a target. The back of his head faces the camera. All right, and we are back. And I am back with the uh, ear protection also known as ears and eye protection is known as eyes so people at the range will say uh what kind of ears do you have um or something of the sort so i am a big fan a huge fan of the walkers line of products now i started off with the walkers razor and that's spelled w-a-l-k-e-r-s regular like spelled regular uh the walker razors were the over-the-ear headphones remind you of like the studio headphones that you would do music with um, but they squeeze a bit tighter um, but they worked very very well um, but they had uh, a requirement to connect it to your phone using a cord not a big fan of that but the reason why I purchased them because they were the best things that you could find of quality in most gun stores. And um, I've literally purchased three pair of them. Uh, one for me, one for my wife, and um, I gave a nephew um, a pair. And they work exceptionally well. $69.79 bucks on Amazon. That's the Walkers with the S Razor. What I use now is another Walkers product and I'm holding it up now. It's a case and in this case are wireless Walkers Silencer BT 2.0 and it just stands for Bluetooth 2.0. 
Now these go in my ear and remind me of almost like AirPods, um, but definitely a better fit um, in my ear. They're rechargeable by the case. They're rechargeable. Um, you know, you can re you can charge the case and thus charge your ear protection when you put it in the case. So it's about the size of a bar of soap, all dimensions. And you press that open, you got two uh, slots for your headphones, left and right. You put the left one in, you put the right one in, you put the right one in, you put the left one in, and it's touch screen. Oh, uh, it's touch activated. And so the touch works very well. No buttons to remember, just gestures. So you put them in and they connect wirelessly through your phone. Um, you got several different settings. Um, everything is kind of self-explanatory. You double tap on the right twice, you get different settings. Uh, you double tap on the left twice, you answer your phone. You want to change the volume, you swipe up. You want to change the volume down, you swipe down. Nothing to it. It has an accessible walkers link, I think the name of the app is, companion app. So if you want to do any of those setting changes, uh, for example, if you want the left to work independently of the right as far as volume switching, um, you can change that in the app. You can switch to different modes. You can just do uh, whatever you need to do. They're comfortable. Um, I've worn them for hours at a time. The battery lasts a long time. You can answer your phones. It sounds great. I mean, all for the most part, uh, Bluetooth as well as wired speakers for our phones are pretty much created equal. Um, so it's kind of cool to be able to listen to music, listen to people around me, shoot guns with protection and answer the phone all from one device. Now, I do not use these for my music and my phone calls if I'm not at the range. So I'm not walking around with these in my ear. You could, but I don't. Um, of course, you got the three different fittings for it, small, medium, large, as far as what goes in the ear. Um, and then you have the little hook that like hooks under the little lip in your ear if you ever had workout earbuds. Um, that little thing, I don't know what it's called, that hooks in your ear and never had them to fall out. And um, they talk, you know, so when they're on, they talk and tell you they're on. I mean, I wouldn't use it. It's it's 100% accessible. Um, it's great. And the way I put them in my ear, I hold the part that goes in my ear, squeeze them for about 30 seconds, get them nice and small, put them in my ear, let them blow up like biscuits. And now I got a good seal. Um, now, because it's touch sensitive, you wanna hold it by the sides and not necessarily on the touch sensor. I mean, it's gonna turn them on and I mean, or off or change a setting or something, but it's nothing but a tap away. We're used to it with iPhones, right? So that's the Walker, Walker's Silencer 2BT 2.0. I'm not good with these products because we're not a product reviewer, but I can tell you these things work great. What's the price? Uh, I got mine for what, 240? definitely worth it thousand percent worth it i'm have a matter of fact i'm gonna tell a brief story about the headphones so i went from the walkers razor and i wanted bluetooth headphones i went to the something something i went to another brand um and like the functionality didn't like i mean the ability i like the ability that they marketed i didn't like the headset and luckily um, i was able to send them back get a refund and try these out and i never would look back it's walkers unless somebody else makes a higher i mean i don't know how high a quality you can get if you meet the bluetooth standards um, and you meet the ear protection standards, either it's gonna do it or it's not. So I don't know what else another pair of headphones can do, uh, but technology has its way of uh, rearing its beautiful head. So we'll see. All right, so that answers that. I'm gonna put these up. Let's get into the subject of, okay. <coughs> Let me cough. 
right? Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the subject of what happens when you purchase a gun and they will not allow you or the person you're with to fill out the paperwork. Um, so when you check the rules and regulations for a person, not just a blind person, it could be a person who does not speak English, a person who cannot physically fill out the form or a person, you know, who's blind, which kind of fill, fills in the gap of a person who cannot physically fill out the form, um, then it's ridiculous, but you need three other people there because the people that work behind the counter can't fill out the form for you. At least they're not supposed to. Uh, and three other people are required. The person filling out the form, the first person witnessing that they're filling out the form and the person witnessing that you answered all the questions. T, totally ridiculous, but it's on um, the website. The people who govern firearms. What is that? Um, I don't know what government agency that is but the reason i know i went into a very discriminatory and very racist store in cobb county georgia everyone is familiar including the people who are the same color of the people who are being racist at uh adventures outdoors and marietta uh yeah and when I thought that that was part of their discriminatory racist practices, I told them to prove it. And I believe that they did. And I believe that this is what um, the individual who is the new YouTube subscriber slash, uh, I can't wait to talk to this person. And um, that's what they're experiencing. Now, I go where I am celebrated, not hated or not tolerate it, celebrate it. And so I've just built rapport with multiple gun shops in the Georgia area. I would say it's about four at this point. And so they know me and they probably don't know that this rule is on the books. And I don't know that they did, that Adventures Outdoors just didn't print me out, you know, something that was old, you know, cause I, once they gave it to me in writing, I just, I walked, off and my sister read it and blah 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 so i am looking into it from a legal standpoint i am looking at it from an advocacy standpoint to see what we can do because it's totally ridiculous we're legally able to own firearms why is it a require i can see if one person has to be there to fill out the paperwork but literally three that's ridiculous cool all right, so that takes care of that. It's gonna take some advocacy. It's gonna take some legislative things because again, it's a federal governing body if this is true that regulates that. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. And if you're in a small town, then you only got a couple of options. But I tell you what, from Athens to here, it's an hour and a half drive. You come here, we'll get you what you want. Now, um, just as an aside, one of the other things that you can do is go to that local store. You can re touch and feel firearms. I hope they're not being that discriminatory. See what you like and order it online and then come to me or a local, you know, someone that I turn you on to and um, have it shipped there. And then you can pick it up there. No problem. And you kind of obfuscate that whole thing. Um, besides shooting, which brings me to the advocacy thing. So it's really discriminatory practices. And I know I've been using this word the whole video, but you cannot, it's like a person in a wheelchair, you know, you telling them they can't shoot because why? I mean, you know what dis discrimination looks like. There's no reason. I mean, you can't. If, unless you've done something wrong, you can't refuse me as a customer, right? But you can't say that to an owner because you want to be able to build rapport. And so again, I go where um, celebrate it and not hate it, thus not going to adventures outdoors. Um, and because of that feeling that I got, that feeling that I 
heard other people have, um, then I sought out places that got to know me, realized that I was in a risk, probably I'm more careful than the sighted people that are there because I have to be, right? It's like blind people work harder because, you know, the reasons why people with disabilities actually is a great fit for work and employers looking to hire. Um, but yeah, and so I built a rapport with um, the places that I, I go and I frequent and it's, it's an amazing experience. Um, the other thing with filling out the form, it's a paper form that they probably are looking at with the person in Athens that is asking these questions. Well, what about when you got a digital form? You know, is it, and there's no ID. I mean, what it, I mean, it's nothing to write on, you're typing. And there's no space on the form for this, which lets me know it's an afterthought. It's no space for them to take three different people's names, addresses, ID, blah, 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 blah. There's, even, there's not even room for signatures. So it's, it's BS. All right, so anyway, the advocacy of going to the range is, um, you just got to go, you got to shoot you know, in the backyard safely. You got to, you know, I mean, maybe we come up there and just talk to them. Um, I don't know, man. I'm a, I'm a big NFB mindset person. I'm like, man, I'm bringing 20 blind people up here and you refuse us. I'm suing the crap out of you. And you guys don't believe me. I've fouled and won hundreds of and hundreds of lawsuits, <laughs> believe me. So, you know, it, it can happen, but that's the type of person I am. I'm a, I'm a radicalist when it's something that I want to accomplish in life and somebody is stopping me. So listen, I hope that answers your questions. You guys know my number. If you want to reach out, um, email, whatever, find me reach out and we can have a conversation. We can make it happen for sure because I am all about, let's say it, looking good, feeling good, smelling good. Light flares moving over black backdrop. The word empowerment in orange all uppercase appears behind the flares. Underneath the word empowerment in white lettering also behind the flares is a mechanism by which individuals, groups, and communities gain mastery over their affairs. Light flares fade. A transparent mirror image of the words are also underneath.